So in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the topology for your high poly and uh, your high poly model and whether that makes a difference to your overall bake. So what we're going to do is boolean these objects out of this. So we just pull this out, you can see it's just like a little like a bottle cap or something like that. Uh, and the answer to this question really is your topology doesn't matter as long as your model looks right, it doesn't matter. Um, the topology for the high poly bake. Um, obviously it matters for your low poly but it really shouldn't matter for your high poly. So let's try booleaning this out and just messing this model up a little bit. So we'll select, uh, first we'll go to mesh boolean and then difference and go to the options and you want to make sure that you've got edge selected here so that means it's going to cut this out and leave the geometry in. This one will just leave a hole I'm not sure if you select it that way around. Maybe you select the model you want to be cut first and then the cutting model second. And you can see that's cut those out pretty nicely. Uh, but we can see we've got a whole bunch of verts that aren't connected to anything else, five-sided, six-sided polys and things like that. Uh, so another quick thing we'll do is just use something like multi-cut tool and just cut a whole bunch of nonsense into this model. Okay. So, but when we look at the model, we can see it still looks nice. It looks fine. It's nice and soft, and it um, all the curves look right. So let's delete our history off this and just apply Lambert one to it, just as generic material, and then we'll turn on our grid and drag our low poly onto this. So let's just check our uh, unwrap and we can see it's one nice big strip and then two ends. So we'll load in transfer maps, clear all of these out, we'll add our low poly into there, select our high poly and add that in, load our normal map And again, should be using a target or a bitmap, but just for this testing, um, we'll call this topology N. Let's say. And standard settings 1024, wild space, uh, low detail, and delete envelopes on bakes ticked off. Now we'll need to check our envelope, of course make sure that's encompassing our entire high poly which it kind of looks like it is to be fair okay so we'll now hit bake on that so again this shouldn't take too long because we're keeping our settings to low so that's always a good thing okay so if we take this model out we can see that despite the dodgy cuts up here and the topology around here that wasn't quite right, it looks like we've actually got a nice smooth normal map out of this. So yeah, we've got a nice kind of bake up here. It looks like my UVs are a little bit stretched, but other than that, it's pretty much spot on. Uh, yes, we do have a bit of waviness, but that doesn't even apply to the bit where we cut stuff out. So you might find when you set that that bake to high quality it will come out uh, without so much waviness in it. So the lesson to learn from this is that your high poly as long as it looks right in term, when you're looking at it like this, as long as it looks right your topology really isn't important. You can have as much dodgy stuff going on as you want so just bear that in mind for when you are producing your um, your high poly stuff. Um, one last little thing we'll do while we're here is just have a look at intersecting geometry as well because anything that intersects is also fine even if it goes all the way in the model like that it's not going to matter. So we'll just bevel that edge
So if we have something like that, say, we'll just duplicate that. And there push through, because it's based on rays hitting geometry, that stuff inside, the geometry inside, isn't going to make any difference. So we need to combine these into one mesh. Overlay that over the top. Load up transfer maps and hit bake. Now I didn't check to see if that was intersecting actually, so I probably should have checked that first, as in the cage. If, the, if that isn't encompassed in the cage, we're not going to get a proper bake. And we can see that's kind of working okay. So we've got some distortion on it though. And as we covered in the other lesson, the reason for that is because we need a couple of control vertices in this model. So first of all, we should probably just check the UVs just to see how So they are a little bit stretched. So you might as well just make them nice and square. And then what we'll do is we'll just add in a control loop here. Because now we've got that extra detail on the model, it might be knackering that up a little bit. So we'll push that in over the top again, come back to transfer maps and hit bake. Okay, here we go, all done. Alright, we can already see that despite still having the checker on there, that's already looking looking a lot better. Delete the checker off and we can already see that's looking looking much better now. So you can see how much of a difference those control vertices make and also how you can have push through geometry, cut stuff in and not really like worry about topology. Let's just check our normal map. There you go, you can see they're much nicer now. Okay, so that's dealing with topology um, in your high res model.